guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about something very exciting that happened recently, and that's that I got some more metal pans for my Critter Nation. And is there not more a rat owner thing to say than someone getting excited over getting some metal pans? Uh, but regardless, these metal pans here are specifically made for the Critter Nation, and they technically come from quality cage crafters, I believe. But anyways, I saw someone giving it away for free. They just wanted you to pay shipping. And shipping was just about 30 bucks, which is really nothing for these sorts of pans. Just to kind of give you a idea, this pan up here is like $120. And this pan down here is like $90 if you were to get them new. And then you would have to add shipping to those cage costs. So $30 for shipping is really nothing. And I'm very grateful to the person who gave these to me because they are such nice pans. I have used several different pans to keep the bedding inside my cages. I've used Critter Nation cages for quite a while now, and their one downside is that they have these really thin plastic pans, which have very little depth to them, and the rats can chew through them, and the bedding tends to spill out, so it's just kind of a really bad pan design. And then they also have these guards you can buy for the outside. They're made of metal, and they're like two or three inches. I have a set, and they are really terrible. Uh, not only are they hard to put onto the cage pans, but they tend to break off really easily and they don't do a good job of keeping in bedding at all. So definitely not something I'd recommend. And because there's such a large market for different pans for the Critter Nation, you'll find that there's actually a lot of companies that specifically make metal pans for the Critter Nation uh, or acrylic pans. And this also applies to other cages, but the Critter Nation is just one of the most popular rat cages in the US in particular. So it's definitely one of those cages you find a lot of modifications for. Anyways, I have personally tried tried not just the cage guards but also the cement tub and I even tried to make my own acrylic pan which I did actually use this works really well for my cage I made it from some photo acrylic I think it's also called plexiglass and it's basically much stronger than the typical acrylic you use which is both a good thing and a bad thing it's a good thing because it's harder to break but it's a bad thing because it was way harder to cut and even though I do like this pan it's not very professional as you can probably tell I only use tape to seal it and the tape over time will wear down so I've had to replace the tape several times. So because of that I prefer, little french fry what are you doing? So because of that I prefer the metal pans and you'll notice that I actually have some metal pans on the bottom cage. Uh, but these metal pans are from Bass Equipment and I ordered them way back when I only had the bottom two units. And now I actually have four units although I only have three set up right now. And so for a long time, I've wanted to add in another of these pans. But the pans are so expensive that even getting them from Bass Equipment, which is actually quite a bit cheaper than the quality brand ones, they're still quite expensive. I mean, it costs more than the cage to get it because I got the cage secondhand. So definitely it kind of shows you just how expensive they are. And because of that, I couldn't really justify getting more pans for the upper unit, even once I added it in, which was several years back. And I ended up making this because I got all this plexiglass from my mom for free because she was using them for certain photographs, but she didn't need it anymore and was throwing it out. So I just asked for it and used it to make some pans. Or, well, I used it to make this one pan in particular. So that worked pretty well. But the problem with that pan is it is plastic, so there's technically a possibility of rats chewing through it. Not a huge one because the plastic is very thick and smooth. But on top of that, there's also the fact that I used tape for it. So that's just not super great sealant. Uh, it works well enough, but honestly, I would have preferred to have the metal pans because they're just a lot easier to take out and clean. And they're just also a lot more stable for separating groups. Because this little girl and her sister, which I think is in there somewhere. Um, but anyways, french fry and tater tot here are separated from my other eight rats. And that's simply because they just don't get along really well with my oldest two rats. So they can't be together yet. And because of that, I've had a piece of plexiglass blocking off this one hole in the middle of this pan because it seemed kind of silly to make a whole new pan when I already had this pan and it just had the cut out because before I had the entire cage connected uh, when it was just one group. But that always ran the risk of another rat getting through and somehow chewing into this cage and getting to tater tot and french fry. And even though I could technically replace the grate, which the metal grate has a cut out right now just because I was holding on to hope that intros would finally finish. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to, uh, but I was holding out hope for them to finish, so I kept in the middle pan because it's kind of annoying to get in and out. Uh, and because of that, I needed something to block it, and the acrylic kind of worked, or I should say it did work, but I was always kind of worried that it would be bitten through. 
So having these metal pans is super nice because it prevents that entirely. There's no way the rats can chew through these uh, and these are just completely solid metal pans. So definitely a really nice thing to have in the cage. And again, I'm very grateful to the person who was giving these away. Now I should add that there is some small differences between these pans and the Bass Equipment ones. The biggest difference that I notice is that these pans have a little gap in the corner. It's not sharp, but I'm not quite sure why they have a gap. Uh, it's on all of them, including the side cutout pan, so I think it's just normal. But as you can see with the Bass Equipment pans I have, they're actually completely solid in the corner. So that seems to be like the only big difference. Um, okay, get back in there, butter. Uh, but like I said, that seems to be the only big difference. So I'm not really sure what justifies the insane difference in price. Uh, but regardless, it is a nice quality pan. I mean, I really like this part in particular. It's two inches, so it keeps in the bedding. And then the outside is three inches, which helps keep it in even more. Uh, this is my first time having the quality pans. And honestly, I wouldn't say they're all that different from Bass. But, you know, it's uh, just kind of weird that there's such a big price difference. Hello, Miss Tater Time. You're looking particularly cute, little bean. Oh my gosh, look at her. Anyways, I guess the whole point of this video is to kind of share these pans. I often get asked by people where I got the metal pans down below, and they are from the company Bass Equipment. And now these upper pans are from Quality Cage Crafters. But like I said, I got them secondhand. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share my excitement on these cool pans because I was not planning on ever getting them. But this was a deal that was just too good to pass up. And I'm really glad I got them because I feel like this is just a better setup for the dwarfs because this way they have more floor space without me having to add in the extra unit yet. So yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!